Hello everyone. Today we are going to do something different from our previous video. So basically in our previous video we uh, discussed about some file storage things. So just a related things but not completely. We are working with some zip files. So if you have a scenario to work create a zip file using Java or unzip a zip file using java uh, in that scenarios you guys can use this yeah this approach probably we will see how we will do that so the first thing we need some files i mean some dependencies to add to our phone dot xml file so the first one is apache commons commons compress that's the only thing that exactly we need to, uh, to do the compressing and decompressing operations and after that we will see how we are going to do the remaining things so the first thing we need to create a zip file so for creating a zip file if you know the zip file name and file or directory uh, we need to use the out output stream and also the zip archive output stream that zip archive output stream actually the common compress dot uh, archives dot zip file Zip, uh, it's coming under commons dot compress archives dot zip or something like that so i'm not going to the theoretical part more i'm just going to uh, try the things practically so we will see how we can do that so creating a dot zip file using apache common that's our topic for today and we are going to start the things one by one so i added our dependency here so everything is fine then the next step we need to uh, we need to add something to uh, something like zip file utility or something so for that purpose or just create a public static void main class where we will do the zip, zip file things okay so probably i will take that approach i am not going to a deep deep uh, deep down approach like creating a utility class or something so i have a test file here so here you are using the seven file that's also from center compass dot archives but right now i want to remove everything from this because i don't want to use that things here the seven file we will use the zip archive output stream so that's another one that also will work and uh, Based on that, we can add some zip file to the system. So here I have a try catch block, and I need to add something to that try catch block. So here, what I'm going to do is I will include a zip archive output stream here and new file output stream and also i need to mention my place where i need to add my zip file okay so here and add file the next thing we need to add file into that zip archive so I create the zip archive here 
using the zip archive output string if you are going inside that you can see what are the methods what are the instance variables available in that particular uh, class parchi or put stream or something like that parchi or put stream with some common parameters utf8 spend coding copy buffer set encoding finish or something like that so here we just declared that one that need a file of output stream and here what we are going to do is we need a file to be created so not to create we need a file object with a file already in my system something like test go yes that's fine and I declare here um, then another one zip archive entry it's another and another, another class zip archive entry that also I need okay and basically a copy another line from another window actually so zip archive entry so this is another class if I import that class here it's come under the same archivist dot c okay so here what we are going to do so I got the file and I need to convert into a zip archive entry how I can convert that that's another thing so here probably I will use the same approach I mean whenever you are declaring a zip archive entry or any other class you will use a new keyword right so that we are going to do here and I know I have a file and I am adding that also I need to provide a name right so providing the same name here so right now it's fine so we bind this file into here right then we need to put that things put that things here okay so thank you for watching uh, please subscribe to my channel and also watch for my next part two of this tutorial so we can finish and uh, do some testing to make sure the things are working fine thank you for watching have a nice day